Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I want to talk to you more about becoming a Jedi Knight. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once you have passed the Padawan Trials, the Jedi Council recommends that you uh, come a day prior to the date that you have set for your Jedi Knight ceremony and meditate in the Spire of Tranquility. And now they want you to meditate for a day and you could either be meditating alone or with other Padawans that have passed their trials. And so now, even though you have passed your trial, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that you will become a Jedi Knight because the Jedi Council still holds the ability to uh, reject anybody who has passed these trials. But if you are accepted into the Jedi Knighthood, on the day of your Jedi Knight ceremony, you come to a grand room where a lot of Jedi Knights and Masters and people who have had a significant role in your Jedi Knight uh, journey are gathered in a dark room. And you go to the center and kneel down before that Jedi Master and every Jedi in that room ignites their lightsabers. And if you are the species that grows the Jedi braid, the Padawan braid, the Jedi Master will lower his lightsaber to your shoulder and raise it up swiftly cutting off the braid. But now if you don't have a braid or the species that can't grow one, then the Jedi ma uh, Master will just lower his lightsaber to each shoulder and raise it up swiftly in a salute. And then that concludes your Jedi knighting ceremony. And now there are a lot of times where Jedi Knights or Jedi Padawans often don't pass the trials the first time. You are permitted to try as many times as necessary if the Force wills it. Meaning, if the Jedi Council can sense in your future that the Force has a strong journey for you in the Force and in servitude of Jedi Knighthood, then they will permit you to try and try again if you fail the Jedi Padawan Trials or the Jedi Knight Trials. But now, if you keep failing and keep failing, they won't permit that. So then you will and can have the opportunity to just remain as a Jedi Padawan or just go as Jedi for short. And then you can serve in the service corps or just live out your duties serving those around you as a Jedi and a representative of the Jedi Council and the Order. So now there are a lot of times as well where Jedi Padawans fail the trials and the Force doesn't will them to try again or have a future for them so they just go into being regular citizens in the community but now the thing that you want to understand is that you can try again as long as the force wills you to try again meaning as long as the force still has use for you and still has something that you need to accomplish you can try again there are plenty of jedi who don't pass who work in the temple and work in other sanctions of the Jedi Council and Jedi Order. Uh, Moon Singh is actually a perfect example of someone who didn't pass the trials but just remained on as a Padawan or Jedi and worked in the speeder um, group. And that pretty much concludes the Jedi Knighting Ceremony. That answers and concludes what happens if you don't pass. You can try again as often as you're permitted. And if you're not permitted to do so, it explains you know what paths you can take from there on you can become a citizen or just do regular work for the order outside of the order itself i hope that you all found this video informative if you did please leave a like and comment what you found interesting subscribe for more videos like this i hope you guys stick around i'll be making more to come i hope you all have a great day and remember the force will be with you always